What's up guys, this is iTweets here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tweet called Tiny Grid Plus. Now what this tweet does is give you the ability to change the icon preview of your folders. So you can see on my folders, and this is actually my favorite layout out of all of them probably, and that's just a single column and a single row. So it just has one icon right there in the middle of the folder preview and you can even change the size of the preview icons in the settings so when we open up a folder you can see it actually pans out or spreads out from behind the icon as you can see right there so that's a kind of cool effect now let's go into the settings here and I'm gonna show you what you can do with tiny grid so we're gonna open this up and you have the kill switch right here so you will actually have to uh, respring in order for anything to take effect but you can turn it off right there you also have your layout so I have a one by one that's why there's only one icon and I've turned up the icon size all the way so you're gonna see that it's the largest icon that you can get you can also change the background alpha for the folders as well as down here we have icon spacing and this is a little bit uh, not so great just because it's really hard to tell a difference of I mean there's no reference we have no reference what the actual icon spacing is I mean 3.87 what so that's kind of annoying because you have to respring in order for it to actually uh, get an idea of what the spacing is but other than that it's not really that bad so let's change up the layout right here we're gonna do two by two and we're going to leave we're gonna change the background alpha all the way down and we're gonna change the size of the icons just a little bit down to 20 and spacing we'll leave it around 3.87 we'll see what that does so we'll respring and check that out alright so now we're resprung let's go ahead and unlock and see what it did alright so we don't have any type of background for our folders because we turned the alpha all the way down so it's completely transparent now you'll notice the icon size is actually not too bad uh, and the spacing isn't bad either you will notice that I don't have four icons in these folders but there are more than four icons in this folder so you can see how that uh, works right there so this doesn't look too bad I would add a little bit of a background for the folder but other than that it actually looks pretty good now one thing I will mention is everything looks great when you do something that is less than the actual default so anything that's less than three by three so two by two one by one that looks great but if you get into something a little bit bigger you're gonna notice that you're not gonna be able to have all these icons in your folder so it's not going to fill up the preview now I know that sounds probably a little bit confusing so I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean so we're gonna scroll down here to tiny grid again we're gonna tap on that and we're gonna change this to 4x4 four four. alright so that means there should be 16 icons but we can't actually fit 16 icons if you don't have another compatible tweak to put 16 icons per page in the folder so it's actually going to be some empty space there so we're going to change this background alpha up so we can see that a little bit we're also going to make the icon size a little bit smaller just to make sure that all those icons fit and then the icon spacing is going to be just a little bit tighter so we'll save this in respring and I'll show you exactly what that does alright so we're resprung let's go ahead and unlock and you can see exactly what I mean right here so we have nine icons so we can see all nine icons but we can't fit any more icons on this page unless we have a compatible tweak so you can see right there that's not going to look too great in my opinion but if that's not something that really bothers you then this is all right and there really are no boundaries to this tweak so you can actually make it look pretty bad but you can make it look good like I was saying the first two options that I had the one by one and the two by two actually look good the three by three is obviously going to be uh, the default but you can mess around with the background alpha the icon size as well as the spacing to make it a little, little bit different and however you like it but you can still make this not look that great so if we do a five by five which you can see here we're gonna turn the background alpha all the way back up we're also going to change the size quite a bit and we're gonna take the icon spacing just up a bit as well so you're gonna see exactly what this looks like alright so now we're resprung let's go ahead and unlock the device and you can see exactly what I mean there are no boundaries so you can actually make it look basically unusable you don't want this nobody's gonna want this look on their device so I mean you do have to actually tinker with it a little bit to get it exactly the way you want and like I said the lower columns and rows actually look the best with this tweak so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe 
Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. All right, guys, until next time, peace.